Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Capricorn, it looks like we have the judgment it flipped out in reverse. None of my cards are reverse, but this one to come out in reverse. Somebody's just not not forgiving somebody's transgressions, someone's sins, someone somebody's lies, somebody's outright, you know, um strikes against uh the partnership. Somebody's not forgiving it because somebody's heard it all before. Someone feels like someone is a liar. And they just feel like, you know, if it's if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. They feel like I'm being lied to again. This could be you, Capricorn. It could be the other person. Somebody hasn't made a definitive judgment, decision about this relationship, but they are at odds. They're protecting themselves, their heart, their mind. Their heart and their mind are not aligned. The heart says stay, the mind may say go, right? So the cards are saying, you know, it's best for you to walk away from the decision and then come back to it at a later date where you can reconcile um, what's going on between you and said individual or individuals. Um, this is definitely in regards to a partnership. Somebody could have went outside their relationship. Somebody's always lying about money too. This could even be with adjudication here. This could be about spousal support, child support. Someone is always saying that they don't have it, you know. You know, and the other person is saying, you know, that's a lie. You're a liar. And yeah, someone's saying, I just don't have it. Um, someone also can't feed money into the household or the business like they used to. And it could be you Capricorn or the other person saying, you know, I just can't take you serious and I don't take you serious. Um, someone may be even thinking about what they deserve or how they're deserving of so much more. Because they feel like, you know, their body is perfect or they have a very a, a good body of work. Someone could be saying I deserve more money. You know, someone could be holding back their decision, their yes or no, because they deserve more money. Okay. It says that there might be a, a break, a pause before a coming together or coming back together with the death card. Like one dynamic has to end and then something else begins. Um, the ending of how you deal with one another also. Like maybe it was rough. Maybe it was, you know, chaotic. Maybe you guys didn't come back together and, you know, again, negotiate, compromise. Uh, have some cooperation because there is none. And then we have Virgo, the alchemist. You could be dealing with the Virgo. The alchemist talks about, you know, how you can't, like chemists, making things work. You know, so something about making it work with adjudication. So it just says, come back to this because you possibly can make it work. You also might get a third party involved so that you can get what it is you feel you deserve. What you're deserving of. Someone could be saying, look, you don't have a good resume, a good body of work. Um, I'm not making a decision right now, and that's what's holding me back. Uh, yeah, that's what someone could be saying in terms of maybe a career or a job. There's also somebody just lying about money, saying that they don't have it. Or they could be telling the truth. They just don't have it at this time um, because they're horrible with money. Somebody's like, I can't even take you serious. You know, like you're an adult and you're horrible with money. You told me you had it. You told me you would do it and now you're not doing it. Somebody is hoping and wishing that you guys come back together. Could be a Virgo. Got a lot of Virgo cards, Mercury, the Nine of Cups, the Nines, the Hermit governs the Nines, the Hermit is Virgo, the Magician, Virgo, Aquarius, maybe even Aries. Um, so it's like you, 
It's like somebody's trying to give you a speech or you gave someone a speech. Wow, Aquarius card was under that. It's like someone's trying to get back on the right path with you. You know, definitely someone wanting compassion, forgiveness, trying to get back in alignment with the situation, with the circumstance. So it's like, hear me out. But someone is saying they just can't take you serious or you're saying this to someone else. It could be in regards to someone's sexual proclivities. Also, someone could be into something else. S&M or S, I don't know what that's called. Um, they could also be into something that is taboo. Um, they could have a fetish. Maybe that is not to another person's liking. This is what I have for you. Yeah, it's like something about sex here. Somebody found out about it. Okay, someone is scared, fearful that the secret will get out. Yeah, yeah secret will. Then it's going to change the direction, the trajectory of somebody's um, fortune, career. Someone's scared. This is what I have for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also. Donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come learn the Tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Purchase the Black Tourmaline or Amethyst bracelet and receive, you know, you can ask me one question if you purchase the bracelets. The Black Tourmaline is for protection, maybe even prosperity, and, and the Amethyst is for uh, healing, friendship, um, prosperity, uh, self-love. So purchase that as you see fit. Thank you. Take care.